All right, the lads, it is the preview show, the preview show previewing Everton v Liverpool, the 239th. <laughs> Mercy side, Darby. You just did that for me. Yeah, you just did that for me. I know me. you love that. Um, Everton winless then in seven <laughs> Premier League games, their longest such run since 2016 under Roberto Martinez. Uh, it's fair to say they are not happy over the other side of the park. Uh, we, I'm sure you've all seen it now, they're all sticking two fingers up, or some of them sticking two fingers up to their own players uh, after the defeat against Brentford. Liverpool, meanwhile, breaking more and more records around scoring goals, etc. It feels like the perfect time to be going over it. Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> my, my fear for this is I don't like, firstly against, uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this in this order, Everton at the minute are in a terrible run of form, they're playing bad football, but yep. Goodison Park is a thing. One, it's a bigger thing when Liverpool go there. Two, Goodison Park is generally a thing, both positive and negative, I think it's fair to say. We're going there, that's a thing as well. Three, we're going to a Goodison Park where every single one of those supporters, I would say, before a ball is kicked, would take a draw. Yeah, so it it's what we have we hold from minute one and whilst they're in a really bad place at the minute and listen they might might get drawn into a relegation battle I don't think they will I think there's worse sides than them six points off aren't yeah, they? worse players than them worse sides than them but they might get drawn into a relegation battle but right now I think they're somewhere between the ninth to 12th best squad it's dead hard I think to go away from home when the ninth to 12th best squad would take a point. Like, would, would, would give their lives for a point, not just take a point, would give their lives for a point. Would, would, they will absolutely, they will fight for everything at nil-nil on five minutes, like they're one nil up on 85 minutes against a normal team. And in a normal ground, if you know what I mean. And I think that that, so the ground will be, they'll be up for every tackle. They'll be up for, I mean, they love a throw in anyway, but they'll be up, they'll be up for every throw in. And I think it's, I've always liked Heaton's line that you want to play Everton when Everton think they're going to win. And then reality crashes down on them in a Liverpoolian way and we get to all be dead smug and, and bell ends and all that sort of stuff. But facing them right now, when every single one of those supporters in that away end against Brentford is, has got on the coach going back and said, we're going to get battered by Liverpool. That is not a good time to face them. It's backs against the wall time. That's what worries me. It genuinely worries me. I'd rather they were going in thinking they can get a result against us. I mean, you, you look at it all and, you know, Liverpool unbeaten in the last 10 at Goodison. You mentioned them to, wanting to take a draw or would that be happy to take a draw. Eight of the last nine have been draws, yeah. uh, including the last four in a row. Um, there's more draws, in fact, between Liverpool and Everton than any other Premier League fixture. Is but that the, right? Yeah, it surprised me, that 24. But there's also, I mean, let, let's start to be positive here and introduce some stuff that we can enjoy here. Uh, there's been more 90th minute winners in this fixture uh, in the Premier League than any other. Okay. And all of them were scored by Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's Ronnie Rosenthal, 93, McAllister, 2001, Dick Coit, 2007, Sadio Mane, 2016, and of course, Divock Origi and, in 2018. And you've, you, you've just named, I would say, certainly four moments I would say were better than when I got married. You know what I mean? Like literally all, f I'd say four of those in the, since the 2000s, I'm, I'm saying are literally, uh, literally in that category uh, with the greatest love in the world to my long-term partner. But yeah, that is, that is why, it, that's why the fixture means what it means. And I think that that's the, the other part of all of this as well, is that we, I, you and I have had this conversation for years in a number of different places. You've done it more exterior than I have on, on different things. Let's be absolutely clear about this. This is, you know, if I rank the games, I want to win most in the season. This is first or second. I'm not quite sure whether or not Anfield Derby's ahead of it. I have it ahead of Man United, frankly, although going to Man United and winning 5 0 was great. It, it, was. Is, it is the one that I am, you know, absolutely desperate for Liverpool to win. And the reason why is because we've grown up in this city, we know what it means, we know what it means to them, but what we should never do is do what well, we know what it means to them as though in some way, shape or form, we're above that or better than that. I'm not nah. better than that. I am absolutely I desperate. I love beating Everton. Yeah, I'm desperate to beat Everton and I'm annoyed that, you know, in the last nine years, genuinely not messing about, we've won a European Cup, we've won a league, we've come second, we've played some really good football on and off, 13-14, came second then. We've only won there once, once yeah. in nine yeah. and that's got to be better. Once in nine again, and trust me, it was brilliant when Manny scored. Once in nine, though, of getting that moment at Goodison Park, of someone getting a winner at Goodison Park. Winners at Goodison Park count double. I wonder whether it's a little bit different this time as well, in that, you know, I, I kind of feel that like Klopp has, has done the thing of always taking the emotion out of it, saying it's another game, mm. saying it's just done another team. But this time around, we're involved in, a, in look, a, a three way tussle for the title. We can't afford draws. 
we've had too many already, some would say. Yeah. And, and so we need to go there and win. All right, the Reds, thanks very much for getting stuck into that little snippet there of Anfield Rap content. If you want the rest of that show and much more besides, click the link below, subscribe to the Anfield Rap Premium, and for that you will get reviews, previews, exclusive interviews, post-match content, the full it. Get involved, follow us, follow them from the heart of Liverpool. Up the Reds. <laughs>